Hello everybody, and welcome back to Regentine Outdoors. Today, I have a Remington 1187 Special Purpose in 12 gauge. Definitely one of my favorite shotguns, or at least one of my favorite shotguns that I have. But, you guys know the drill by now. We've got some water bottles set up, and we need to make sure this thing works. So, I've got some bird shot loaded up and a few slugs. Let's see if it works. Firing in three, two, one. Forgot my safety. Oh, it works. Missed one. All right. Let's see if we can hit that steel all the way out there with the slug. A little high. Hit it. Well, it definitely works. Let's give you guys a closer look at the rifle. Sorry, the shotgun. Remington 1187 Special Purpose 12 gauge. Probably one of my favorite shotguns. Starting up front, we have the rifle sights. This barrel does have the rifle sights, which I really like. It's a 21 inch barrel and it is smooth bore, so it's not rifled. And that's a little odd, I think, to have rifle sights on a smooth bore barrel, but uh, I really like the sights, so I'm happy about it. The wood here, very nice, some nice checkering. It's got some nicks, but this was a used gun, so some markings there. Get a better look at the sight. Some more markings. Special purpose. The action on this, it's not the fastest, but uh, it, it chucks out whatever I put in it. It's a uh, three inch chamber, so you can't put any three and a half in there. But uh, the action, it's really good. It'll cycle from some pretty low powered, like eight shot all the way up to some pretty heavy slugs. So it's pretty nice. Some checkering on the grip. A few more nicks on the stock. You can see here it is uh, tapped for a rail and I had the rail on for a while but this uh, hole and this hole just the screws come loose after shooting for not even too long and uh, so I just took it off. I'm gonna use the iron sights. Remington 1187. Pretty nice. To load this thing, it's uh, pretty pretty weird. You have to actually hit the, the button here to get that to drop to load anything in. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Last, just grabbed up a leather sling. I, uh, this is a really nice leather sling, and I think it goes pretty good with the look of the shotgun. So, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up down next to that steel and uh, it'll give you guys a pretty good idea how much power a 12 gauge slug has. And just for reference, I'm shooting some of these old three inch slugs. So if it can take a deer, it can definitely take a steel target. Three inch slug, steel plate. Let's see what it'll do. I missed that first shot, but I still got one slug left, so let's set it back up. Take two. That's what I call knockdown power. Now for a little tube dump. It's 
smoky. Now for a little experiment. I have three containers of water set up and three different kinds of 12 gauge. I have some eight shot, some buckshot, and a magnum slugger. So we're gonna see what kind of effect each of these rounds has on a jug of water. So first, we're gonna test the eight shot bird shot on that Fanta bottle. Crush is better in three, two, one. Okay, next we're going to test the buckshot on the bottle on the right, cranberry pineapple juice. Just normal cranberry juice is better in three, two, one. This is uh, definitely a little bigger. This poor guy knows what's about to happen. And finally, the three inch Remington Magnum Slugger on the Tropicana orange juice. I like Tropicana and orange juice. Three, two, one. Well, you can see from the damage that they all seem to be pretty effective. But I do have to say that the slugger really took care of that Tropicana. It's a bad day to be an orange juice jug. I just want to give you guys a close-up of what it looks like to fire one of these magnum slugs out of this thing. It's pretty cool. Knocked me back a bit. Pretty cool though. All right, four bottles of Gatorade filled with water versus some buckshot. I wonder who's gonna win. It wasn't the Gatorade bottles. And now, a tube dump. Well, the video is almost over, but I have a little science experiment I want to conduct, and uh, I think you guys get the idea. Three inch Remington Magnum Slugger versus Milk Jug at point blank range. So this should be fun. Let's load up. Position ourselves. Get a firm purchase on the firearm. Disengage the safety for science.
man, I hope that looked cool. Well, I've once again got my camera very wet, my gun very wet, and myself very wet. But it is all worth it for the, the science, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. As of recording this, we're almost to 300 subscribers, so make sure that you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. You know what? One more mag dump for the road.